Our Nicole Anthony going to join us in a second. You were close to not being able to go, Franz. Rolled your ankle a couple of days ago. How bad was it? How you feeling? And how satisfied are you with this win tonight? Yeah, it was, uh, I was lucky that we had a couple of days off. I uh, was able to rest a little bit. And, um, yeah, I mean, the staff got me right. I felt good this morning, and uh, so we gave it a go. What did you see? What turned around after the slow start? How were you guys able to get it going here? That couldn't quite pull away until that fourth quarter. Yeah, I just think even though we were getting good looks, I, I, I just think our, our energy wasn't there. Um, you know, we didn't have that, that fun vibe that we normally have, and uh, I think we turned it around in the second half. All right, I said at halftime it was going to be the Cole Bowl show in the second half. Was it ever? What got into you in the second half, Cole? Oh, man, you know. Franz got hot. So by Franz getting hot, it allowed me to get hot too. It took some pressure off of me and my teammates because, you know, he had about 30 in the first half. So we got we were able to get two and two. So shout out to Franz. Can you make the case for Franz and Paolo as all stars? Can we do? Come on, make the case for I don't think I really have to make a case because I feel like it shouldn't. It, that's something that don't even got to be spoken on. Like they should, they should be in that all star conversation. Whether it happens or not, they are all stars in my eyes and the team's eyes and the city's eyes. Hey, man, we all agree with that. Franz, you got so many weapons on this team. Cole was able to give you a lift. Bull, what did you see about the help that you got here tonight? Yeah, I think that's when, that's when we are at our best, when we move the ball, especially in that second unit. We, we got so many scores. And uh, when we move the ball from side to side, everybody gets a look. Um, everybody's guarding on the other end. I think that's when we're hard to, hard to beat. All right, lastly, you told Bowl he was ridiculous after his dunk, right? <laughs> what was – take us through that play, that dunk by Bowl Bowl. Yo, so he's so, like, slow and methodical, like, when he moving. Like, so he came, he let look off Mo Wagner, and he, I thought he was coming to me. He looked off me, comes by, does a Franz Wagner Euro step, goes up with the left, switches with the right, and just dunks on him. I don't know who was on the other end of that, but I feel bad. That was that was sexy, though. That was, a, that was impressive. Great job. Congrats. This is fun, right? Great win tonight. Oh, very fun. Yes, sir. All right, congrats, Franz. Thanks, Dante. All right, guys, that was great. Winning is fun. Sellout crowd. Bowl, bowl, Euro step. We had it all going on. Tonight. And they got the money's worth in the Amway Center tonight. Dante Marcatelli, 123 to 110. The magic, a winner. Joins us now. Bowl, congrats on the win. I, I know that was a long road trip. You're off for four days. Felt like forever since you were back in this building, I'm sure. How good was it to be home here and play this game tonight? Um, definitely felt good to be home after being on the West for five games, like 12 days. So and then uh, we had four days off when we came back, so it definitely felt good to just play again. Felt like the first game back can be tough to kind of get your legs under you. How special was Franz, the way he started in the first half, to kind of get you guys going? Um, we kind of jumped on his back for the first half. He's, <laughs> he, was, he had no energy. He brought us the whole energy for the first half until we picked it up second half and it just became... Well, you got you, you to gotta tell me, where did you get the sauce in your game? I want to know. <laughs> tell um, me about it. He's playing a lot of pickup growing up, a lot of basketball growing up, honestly. That's probably my best answer I can tell you. <laughs> oh, Cole, I know. Tell, you gotta, we're going to take a look at your highlights here. You had the dunk down the middle. Cole Anthony, everybody was reenacting it. This one right here. Reenacting it on the bench right afterwards. Take us through that play and how, how fun that was for you. Um, the play was for me to get the ball on top of the key and then kind of lost it going behind the back and just did a fake handoff and seen the lane wide open. Euro step. Cole, I, I want to know... At, at uh, seven foot plus, how did you get the ball handling skills that yeah. you have? When did you start working on your ball handling skills? Um, I think like sixth or seventh grade. I, since I was so tall, I'd play up like two or three grades. So I think they would just let me handle since I was a little bit like regular size being at that age playing up. So when I would go back down to my regular age group, it kind of helped me because I was already handling the ball playing up. I don't think there's another seven-foot guy in the league no, that has your no handle. I, I'll say Not that. Not at all. Not at all. Appreciate How fun was it to go back to Denver, Bull, and, and, and kind of where it was full circle, get an opportunity to play back on that floor? Um, it was very fun, minus the altitude. That, that was not <laughs> fun at all because I haven't, I haven't been there in a while, so that was definitely bad. Well, you know, you haven't been through this many games in a season either. How are you holding up, and, and what do you think the, the second half, 37 games left? How do you think that is going to fare for you here down the stretch? I will say since it's my first time playing, like, consistently, it's been going by pretty fast. But we're ready for the second half as well. All right, Bo, well, last thing, we appreciate this. There's a lot of fun here tonight. You had a sellout crowd. Are you feeling the buzz in town that, that this team can do something special? What, what do you think this team can accomplish? 
Um, we're a very young group, but like if we just keep playing how we've been playing lately, like we're gonna get to where we need to be, and we all know that as long as we just keep pulling for each other. You think guys are gonna stop contesting these these drives down the lane at some point and just let you go? <laughs> Oh, well, that'd be good for me. So, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> yes, it would. Great job tonight, Bull. That was a lot of fun. Congrats on another win. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. Coach, your, your group was really able to celebrate and break that one open in the fourth quarter. What did you like about your, your group's uh, performance down the stretch? Uh, you know, without looking at it, our defensive effort, you know, obviously we, we scored the ball at a high clip, but I think it was it was our defense that allowed that to happen, uh, getting out and getting on the break uh, after getting the stops. Being a, a game time decision to, to kind of put up that kind of effort tonight, you know, just what does it say about his toughness and, and his ability as a player? That's it right there. You know, his his competitive edge is is what you know what makes him who he is. Uh, you know, obviously, if he's able to go, he's going to go, and when he's out there, he's going to give you everything he's got. And you know, his teammates trust him. He trusts his teammates, and I think that's one of the biggest thing about this group. Uh, you talk about by committee. Uh, th this was the, the prime example of it. Jamal, kind of on that note, how important was it for you guys to get this kind of performance from the bench, especially on the first night of a back-to-back? -back? Huge. It's so huge, you know, trusting those guys and they trust each other uh, to do the right thing, to play the right way, to give that spark, to be able to give the energy uh, that we had out there. And then you talk about our fans and our crowd that juiced that up towards in the second half. It, I thought it was great for these guys. What does it say about Franz that he, you know, does it not just efficiently, but kind of just like by need, they able to kind of flow between, you know, primary then you know maybe off the ball in that kind of way well what has been you know talking about setting him up from where he had to handle the ball the majority majority of the time when we had our guards out you know he's able to play off the ball and, you know then he's the primary ball handler so just being able to do the, a combination of both and he's recognized that which is great going off of what kobe asked earlier the ability to not have markel wendell and paolo have him sit the entire fourth i mean what's the value in that on that front end of a back-to-back -back? it's huge you know you talk about it these guys being ready ready to step in when their number is called uh those guys were cheering them on just the same because that group uh they i told you they empower each other we we they believe in each other they want the next man next to them to be successful and i think that's how this group has been built Coach, uh, today there was a lot of uh, a lot of driving kick. I noticed there was a few plays. Uh, Markel Fultz, Paolo made them where shooters such as Gary and, and T. Ross were available and hit those big time shots. Uh, what does that say to how you guys collapsed the defense of New Orleans? What was, is that the game plan, sort of? Well, we've always talked about it. You know, our, our coaches did an unbelievable job of showing the film in the first half, uh, as well as before the game, just understanding the power of getting into the paint and then spraying out for those feet set threes, you know, and those guys were ready to step in and knock shots down. I thought they did a tremendous job of finding those open looks. Terrence got a bunch, a couple open looks. Gary got a couple open looks and then Franz was open as well. So that last play that to me was big time and Franz getting down in the gap and then spraying it back out to Cole for the knockdown three. Bull had started for much of the year and then goes down, is now off the bench. How has he handled that transition coming off the bench, and what did you think of his minutes tonight? I mean, you're talking about a young man that when they announce his name in the starting lineup, he doesn't run out. So that's the great part about him. He doesn't care. He, he understands how he fits in his role on this team, no matter where he is. And he the guys, you know, they enjoy him, they embrace him. And so whatever roles he's given, he's going to embrace it and run with it. Coach, the team was able, able to get to the free throw line over 30 times tonight. How important is it for a young team to get to the line, especially during those times of offensive lulls? I think it's it's so important for us to get there, um, obviously, to slow the game down for our guys to to have the ability to continue to attack the basket relentlessly. I mean, that's what we've talked about. We want to get to the paint first and then have our feet set, you know, for threes.